Remington target from the good old era. Let's test it. Hey guys, thank you for tuning into the Gun Viking channel. Today we're going to shoot the old Remington target. This is an old classic. And this ammo, I guess, is 20 or 30 years old. I wish they could print the year that was made on the, on the box. Well, as always, we're going to start with uh, a few prepping rounds. I think I'm going to shoot 10 rounds. And then we're going to shoot four groups. And it's a bit windy today, so we'll see how we fare. Wow, it's quite hot. Almost 1200 feet per second. Uh, I have to dial down actually. Five more to dirty up the barrel with the Remington grease. We're actually over 1200 feet per second. This is hot stuff. And I don't mean accuracy wise, but velocity wise. And I can't get any further down, so... Let's shoot some groups. Too bad with the last one. That was actually quite a nice group. I hear many of you guys says that ammunition from Remington was much better in the older days. In old days. What is your experience with the Remington ammunition? Do you think they were better in in the old days while we were young and our hair was black? Or do you like it now? I'm not too happy with that. That was not too bad. No. We can live with that. And by the way, if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please press the like button, leave a comment and do subscribe. And press the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. I try to post once a week, in the summer maybe twice, maybe every second week. Wow. 
What the heck? I didn't see that one before now. We have one down in the right corner. I didn't notice the fly on the last group before now. I thought it was in somewhere between the four, but it's a couple of inches below. A terrible fly. Well, I'm not too uh, not too impressed. I think I'm gonna shoot the rest of the box on some targets at uh, 262 yards. You want to see that? Well, of course you want to see that. I'm gonna go change the position of the camera. With this ammo being quite hot. I guess I have to go, let's see, why don't we start with 8 mils and see what happens. With standard velocity I have to go around 10 mils up to hit at 262. But the, this ammo was quite hot. Let's see. If, if I can find a target. Okay. Let's see if we, if we are anywhere close. A bit low. Nine mils. Oh. Just on the left edge. A little bit to the left, okay. Let's see, 0.248. I think we'll try there. The wind has calmed down a bit. There we go. Mike didn't see didn't see where that one went. Okay, a bit low still. Are we out of ammo? No. Okay, we're on. Okay, let's do some shots on the 8x8 and then we're going to try to hit the smaller ones. The smaller ones are really hard at this this at the, the small ones are really hard at this distance. Okay, a few more at the 8x8. I think I'm still hitting a bit low. Yeah. Let's try the three inch spinner. That was high, of course. Okay, the same hold once more. Way high. Oh, on the left edge. Low. On the left. There we go. I had to hold another half mil on the right side. 
Let's try a couple more on the three inch. Oh, I hit it barely, but I hit it. I think I hit the, the center one. The wind picks up the bullet and pushes it to the left, so I have to try to compensate for it. That was a hot round. Well, it's not easy. Try a few more and then you call it quits. You go for the 8x8 again just to see where I'm hitting. A bit high. Yes, I'm, I'm way high. 3 inch. Oh, just on the left side. Oh! I'm almost grazing it. There we go. The ammo isn't good enough for this shooting. Let's go for the smallest one just to be crazy. Oh. <laughs> that was almost. Yay! <laughs> the one and a half inch. And that was the last round, so I have some more here, but I think I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead.